So this is Cardinal Jean-Claude Hollerick, who is the Archbishop of Luxembourg, uh, who also happens to be the Relator General for the current Synod on Synodality, the Sesame Street Synod we've talked about. I would never consider sexuality separated from love. The Bible has taught, that has taught for 2,000 years, that sodomy is a sin, an abomination to Christ. But the Bible also has said that we should stay with the woman who is in righteousness. The Bible has said that uh, the sun turns around the earth. So the Bible is after the given interpretation to the woman. So the fundamental scriptural teaching on sin. This is not a theological. No, 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 no. Here comes the money. I know that I am in full agreement with Pope Francis. Uh, I can't really explain. So the man says, is sodomy a sin? And he goes, well, we have to find out what the people say. Dogma is now a democracy. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's not Catholic. And then we got the synodality and the working documents and all this bureaucracy, baloney. And then he goes, well, the Bible says it's a sin. And he says, well, you got to stone the woman. That's in the Old Testament. Christ, obviously, in the New Covenant, um, right. updated, right, fulfilled. That's kind of the point of Catholicism. Frankly, with all due respect, how dumb does he think we are that we can't distinguish between a civil law of the people of Israel? In other words, the punishment for adultery, according to the Mosaic law, was stoning. That's not immutable. That's not irreformable. That's yeah. a matter of civil law for the people of Israel in that time. What Sodomy is a matter of the natural law, which is immutable. It cannot change because human nature does not change. This is not a difficult concept. I want to play back this part of the clip where he talks about we got to consult the people. This is not yeah. Catholic. Catholic. Do you believe that sodomy should be considered a great sin? I do not know what the synod will bring. I do not know what the synod will bring. What we got to wait for the synod in twenty whatever to tell us whether it's a sin? Get out of here now! Listen to what he says next. Listen to the people of God, what they express. Listen to the people of God and what they express. He's describing a philosophical system that he thinks is evolving to some sort of perfection. In other words, that. A, used to be evil, but it can be changed into something good through this process of the evolution of dogma. Vatican I says no. The deposit of faith, the doctrine of faith, has been committed to the spouse of Christ as a divine trust, a deposit, to be faithfully kept and infallibly declared. Hence also that meaning of the sacred dogmas is perpetually to be retained which our Holy Mother Church has once declared, and there must never be a deviation from the meaning on the specious ground and title of a more profound understanding, end quote. So the natural law cannot change. Divine law cannot change. The deposit of faith cannot change, regardless of what the so-called people of God at the Synod have to say about sodomy it will forever be grave sin. It's intrinsically evil. All right, Matt, can tradition change? No. H to the no. Never. Any priest or bishop who tells you so, walk away. Yep. And, and conversely, we have to support the, you know, the, the small number of bishops and priests, relatively speaking, small number, who are upholding this truth about tradition that it doesn't change and we have to stand firm and hold fast to tradition as saint paul says second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 14 interestingly i'll just finish with this if you read the whole context of that chapter he's talking about the coming of the antichrist and the great delusion that will be sent upon people who do not love the truth and he ends by saying therefore brethren Hold fast, stand firm, and hold fast to the traditions you have received. That's a very timely and very serious warning for all of us. If you're not clinging to tradition, you are opening yourself to the delusion. Which and is with all the due respect, sort of antichrist. Right, and with all due respect to Cardinal Jean Claude Hollerich, to Pope Francis, they are delusional if they think 
that sodomy can somehow become morally acceptable. That is a delusion. 